Hello, my name is Jeff Young. I'm a head and neck surgeon here at Mayo Clinic in Florida. I wanted to take the opportunity today to share with you some facts about transoral robotic surgery, also known as TORS. This is an exciting new technology that we offer to treat certain tumors of the head and neck. Some people may ask, why transoral robotic surgery? Well, traditionally, tumors in the back of the throat and base of the tongue and tonsils are technically challenging to reach and required large neck incisions and cutting of the bottom jaw, also called a mandibulotomy, in order to be removed. These types of surgeries require tracheostomy, long hospitalizations, long rehabilitation, and may result in problems with speech and swallowing. However, advances in surgical technique have made it possible to reach these tumors through the mouth by using robotic technology. TORS combines high-resolution 3D imaging with robotically guided instruments that act as a surgeon's arms, allowing tumors to be dissected free from surrounding tissue safely. We are even able to combine laser technology with the robotic technology for more precise dissection. You may wonder who benefits from transoral robotic surgery. While patients who benefit the most from TORS include those with early stage tumors and limited lymph node involvement in the neck. Approximately 30% of patients with tonsil and tongue-based tumors are considered ideal candidates for TORS. Patients with certain tumors of the larynx and throat may also be candidates. What are the benefits of transoral robotic surgery? Well, studies have shown that TORS results in speech and swallowing function that is as good or even better than other surgical methods, but without the invasive scars and cutting of the bottom jaw. In addition, for some early stage tumors, there may be no need for additional treatments as TORS alone provides a high chance of cure. For other cancer stages, extra treatment may only include radiation without the addition of chemotherapy. However, the doses of radiation that are currently recommended after TORS are lower than if the cancer was treated non-surgically. In some cases, removal of the cancer with TORS can also help to reduce the volume of the throat that is often unnecessarily irradiated, which can potentially decrease the risk of injury to the swallowing muscles and the nerves. Now, surgical management of head and neck tumors can be complex, and we suggest that any patient with a diagnosis of a head and neck tumor be seen by a head and neck surgeon at a specialty center to determine if they are a candidate for TORS or other potential life-saving interventions. For more information or to make an appointment at Mayo Clinic, please visit mayoclinic.org.